The oligarch hired a nurse for his mother, and in the morning he went to her room, and what he saw. The oligarch had already employed many nurses for his sick mother to give her the best care he could. But now a nurse quit because she was traveling and he needed a new one. He also quickly found a nurse who met the requirements and had great knowledge in her field. When he met her for the first time, he liked her immediately, and he hired the young woman right away. But at that time, he had no idea what a momentous decision he had made and how much this day would change his life and the lives of other people. The nurse moved into the big house and had her room quite close to the room where the oligarch's mother was, so she could always be near her and be there immediately in case of emergencies or when she was needed. The next day, the oligarch went to his mother's room and found that the nurse was already with his mother. He knocked, then opened the door. Upon entering, he looked very puzzled at the two women. The nurse was sitting on his mother's bed talking to her. There were tears in the eyes of both women, and they faltered when they saw him. In the nurse's hand was a small earring, but it looked very valuable. This earring looked very familiar to the oligarch, even though he could no longer tell where he knew it from. So he slowly walked towards the bed and looked at the two women. What's going on here? He asked, demanding an explanation for the picture that presented itself to him there. Come sit down, I have something to tell you. This young woman here has much more to do with our family than you think, his old mother said to him, pointing to her bed. The oligarch looked at her in amazement and complied with her request. Who is she? He sat down on the bed and looked at the young woman for a long time. She is one of our family, the mother said haltingly, crying. What? The oligarch could hardly believe it. Who is she supposed to be? She's just a poor girl without parents, he said in response, full of astonishment. I'm, I'm your sister, the woman whispered, then looked at her hands. My sister, said the oligarch indignantly. I would know that. I don't have a sister. The two women shook their heads. Now the woman began to tell her story. In doing so, she dug deep into her memories and brought to light many a forgotten deed. I was still very young and you had just been born. I can't remember you that well either. I only have precise memories of my mother. She broke off briefly and looked at her mother. At that, she had to swallow hard. It started when you were just born. You were wanted so much. After all, you were a boy and you were supposed to inherit everything. But I was the firstborn, even though I was a girl. However, that did not fit into the plans and I was only in the way. Slowly, I began to be excluded while you were popular and loved everywhere. So the months passed and I felt that I was not as welcome in this family as you were. Later, when I got married, they would have to pay me a lot of money and reduce your property. They also wanted to avoid that, and so I was just in the way. That's why they wanted to get rid of me. The woman faltered and burst into tears. She cried hard as she remembered her childhood. I'm so sorry, the old woman also whispered tearfully, unable to look at her daughter. It was at the airport, and I was so clueless at the time. The young woman continued to speak, shaking her head violently as if she still couldn't believe what had happened to her. I didn't know that this could happen. Even then, I knew that although I wasn't loved like you and was more and more marginalized, I would never have expected that from my own family and my mother. That was also the last time until now that I saw you, not only in newspapers or on TV, but in real life here. My mother took off one of her earrings and gave it to me. She just looked at me without any emotion, and I could not guess what was going to happen. She put her one earring in my hand with the words that I should take good care of it because it was very valuable. I should not give the earring away and keep it because it might be useful to me again. It should also be a reminder to me. Everything I should do now was best for me and the whole family, and I should not be sad. 
I didn't deserve it any other way and should be just as happy with my new life since I would get everything needed to live after all. But that was not true. I lost my whole family. Even though I didn't get any love from her, she was something great and unique. Now, I was alone and completely on my own. I was just left at the airport. I was told to wait in the hall and not to come with them to the plane. Someone would come pick me up. But no one came. After the plane left with my family, I was left all alone in a strange city where I didn't know my way around. In this town, no one knew me either and did not know who I was. I was still too small to know who my parents were and where I lived. Besides, I had no money with me and no contact information. After the employees found me in the airport and the police came to find my parents, I was temporarily taken to an orphanage until my parents would show up again. However, my family had left me there alone and never came to pick me up. After some time, I was watching TV one day and saw my family on the news. I immediately told the caregivers that this was my family. But of course, no one believed me. This rich family would have immediately reported the loss of a family member. My family knew that I was there in the orphanage and kept it a secret from everyone. They told each other that I would go to school far away, so I disappeared more and more in the background. Many years passed and I had to fight hard for my place. I studied diligently at school so that I could later have a good job and stand on my own two feet. It was my great wish to be able to return to my real family one day, and I wanted to save money for that. It was clear that no one would believe me if I said again that I belonged to this family, so I kept quiet about what I knew. After school, I studied to become a nurse, and as the years went by, I heard that more and more nurses were needed here. This was my chance. I applied to be able to come here. I figured that even here, they wouldn't believe me right away if I claimed I was the daughter. So I waited until I was alone with my mother to show her the earring she gave me when I was a child. This I guarded like a treasure until now. Here it is. The young woman lifted the earring, which shimmered and sparkled gold. The earring looked very valuable and so expensive that the woman could not possibly have bought it herself. This is my daughter. It's all my fault, the oligarch's mother said, nodding her head in affirmation. You wouldn't have believed me either, my brother, so I had to talk to my mother first because she knew about the earring. Besides, you were too young to remember me the young woman said to the oligarch. The oligarch fell from all clouds when he heard this story. Such a thought would never have occurred to him, and he knew nothing about it. Oh, sister, he stood up and embraced the young woman. From now on, you shall never have to suffer hardship again. I will compensate you for all the suffering that has occurred to you, and you will get as much of my wealth as I do. I will have the most beautiful rooms prepared for you at once and arrange for you to have everything you want. We'll introduce you officially, and you'll be big in the news, he promised his sister, who hugged him with tears in her eyes. I just want people to be proud of me and welcome me into the family. All these years I've been looking for a loving family, she replied, crying. After several weeks, the daughter had settled well into the family and enjoyed the respect and love that her brother showed her every day. Through him, she did not feel alone, and he read her every wish from her eyes to make up for what her mother had done to her. The mother also tried her best to right the wrongs, but the daughter could not forgive her properly. However, she got along with her brother as if they'd been together all their lives. If you like this story or have thoughts about it, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.